What is up everyone and welcome to episode 41 of Universe Mode. We are kicking things off at SmackDown with Roger Strong invoking his Intercontinental Championship over Cesaro. We are live in Paris, France. And if you guys just seen my video that I uploaded, it is um, Chris Garcia getting a shot once again at being in the uh, Survivor Series team for Monday Night Raw and the WWE Live event that we had was in Paris so that's where we are for Smackdown but yeah so here is Roderick Strong so let's go ahead and get Cesaro out here and then get this Intercontinental Championship match started alright here's Roderick pacing back and forth waiting for Cesaro Roderick Strong was actually the Intercontinental Champion for quite a while and then once he came up and found out that Cesaro was his challenger I knew right then and there and I'm pretty sure Roderick did too that he wasn't going to be Intercontinental Champion for long but Cesaro has backup because he has the Celtic Warrior Sheamus at ringside with him So this should be quite a contest for the Intercontinental Championship. So let's go ahead and get this match underway. And that was what they are fighting for. The prestigious Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the Universe Mode series for WWE 2K18 I do plan on um, bringing some more content to the channel besides 2K18 Universe Mode um, but I'm going to be doing more challenges for 2K18 I plan on uh, having all kinds of stuff coming to the channel here with 2K18 and hopefully I will start my UFC um, stuff because I haven't posted anything about that really besides a few matches and stuff like that but anyway, here we go, the ref taking a belt from Cesaro and showing Roderick and then showing the crowd. So let's get this match started. But you guys, the winner of this will go on to face the new United States Champion over on Raw. And that is of course Apollo Crews because Apollo defeated Jeff Hardy because he invoked his rematch clause. And just like that, look at that, the strength of Cesaro. Roger went for a clothesline, I think, and Cesaro threw him out of the ring. And look at that. Roger Strong going after both Cesaro and Sheamus. Oh, what a discus forearm. From Roderick Strong, not wasting any time going after Cesaro. Look at the height difference between these two. Oh, and a shoulder tackle. Going, Cesaro, look at that, going for a pin early in the match. But just, what is Roger looking for here? Oh, a backbreaker on the top turnbuckle. Roderick Strong definitely wants his Intercontinental Championship back. Oh, and a snap German suplex. And an elbow drop for good measure. Sheamus right there getting in the face of 
Roderick Strong and Cesaro in firm control now with the inverted back suplex. And Cesaro just beating the living hell out of Roderick. Oh, into the corner. And a power slam. My goodness gracious. Oh, wait. Roderick. End of heartache. Out of nowhere. Going for the pin. That could be it. One. Two. Th oh. That would have been a three. But look at this. Roderick paying no attention to Sheamus. Oh, and another one. Oh, uppercut. Uppercut. Out of nowhere. But Roderick kicks out. Roderick Strong kicking out. Now Cesaro to the rope. Clothesline outside. Now this is where Roderick has to be careful. And back in the ring. Go strong. And a German suplex once again. And now Cesaro. Looking for the neutralizer. And a rocket kick. Going for the pin. One. Two. No. Oh, Cesaro. Staying alive for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, and a oh, and a big punch. Here we see Cesaro using his strength with the trifecta deadlift German suplexes. Here's a second one. Going for the third. And it connects. Big leg drop. Now Cesaro is close. He made the mistake last time where he was too far. But look at this. Roderick Strong again. Reversing Cesaro. What is this? Oh man! A gut check! Oh, and a slingshot backbreaker. Roger going for the pin after that. Two. And Cesaro kicks out. What a match to start off for all, I mean SmackDown, I should say. Oh, and down goes strong. Look at this, Cesaro going for the pin. Oh, big elbow to the head. And again, Cesaro. Deadlift German suplexes. There's number two. Rolling through, picking him up. And there is number three. This is our breaking a sweat, it looks like. 
Oh wait, Cesaro. Going for the sharpshooter. He got it. What's Roger gonna do? And Roger taps out. Cesaro is gonna meet Apollo Cruz at Survivor Series. So that was Roger Strong's last opportunity just because he invoked his rematch clause here tonight. He put up one hell of a fight against Cesaro but just wasn't enough. And Cesaro is still intercontinental champion. Let's move on to some more action here on SmackDown. Oh, what's going on here? Our next match is to determine who's going to be the first woman superstar to be in the Survivor Series women's match. But Naomi right away attacking Billy Kay. No entrances. Entrances. We're just getting right into it. Naomi attacking a Billy Kay. And here we go. That was unexpected from Naomi. But Billy Kay actually holding her own right now. Oh man, what a I wasn't expecting to see that side of Naomi before, but we just saw it. And Billy Kay with the incredible superplex and a big slap to the face of Naomi. Naomi with an Irish whip. And now Luthes Press. Big knee drop. What is Naomi looking for here? Oh, nice cross body from Naomi. And now Naomi slamming Billy's head to the mat. Oh, and a big roundhouse kick. Dragon screw takedown. Oh, Billy gets out of that. Oh, and a big punch to the face. And a big chop. Oh, Billy, he's in the ropes. One. Billy used the ropes for leverage there on that pin. Oh, now Naomi. Split leg moonsault. It connects. Going for the pin. One. Just a one count from Billy Kay. Oh no, Billy has to be careful because Naomi. And look at that, Billy Kay with the dragon screw of her own. Oh, what a big boot. Big boot out of nowhere. One, two. Oh, and Naomi kicking out. Naomi kicks out of that. So now Billy Kay has to figure out what she's going to do next. A snap, suplex, going for the pin. One. Just a one count. And look at that, Billy Kay laughing at Naomi. But yet she was the one that got attacked. Oh, Billy Kay. Oh my god! Oh, and a big boot again! One, two, three, and Billy Kay is the first woman to advance in the SmackDown 
Women Survivor Series match. Things are gonna start getting very interesting here because both Raw and SmackDown are gonna have some interesting competitors for both their prospective brands heading into Survivor Series and Billy Kay is the first one to advance for SmackDown so eventually we will see who's gonna be on Raw but Raw and SmackDown they're both gonna have three women and then Raw's gonna have um, the traditional eight man Survivor Series match so let's go ahead and move on to our next match alright guys here we are with our main event this will be to fill the second spot in the men's Survivor Series team. We already got Dolph Ziggler. Now we're gonna see Drew McIntyre in action. And he's gonna be taking on Chris Jericho. So there's McIntyre. Let's go ahead and get Y2J out here. This should be it. An incredible match to end SmackDown. These two faced each other a long time ago. I do believe, I'm pretty sure they crossed paths a long time ago. But now they're crossing paths again. But this time it's to be a representative for their brand, which is SmackDown. This is pretty much like bragging rights. If you guys are wondering why Survivor Series is coming after Money in the Bank, that is because Survivor Series is being taken over by a new WWE event in my universe mode called Shockwave. So I decided to change things up a bit and have SmackDown come, I mean, have Survivor Series come early. And we'll figure out what's going to happen with that Shockwave event. But here is Chris Jericho. Let's get this match started. Here we go, McIntyre looking pretty pissed off. And a big clothesline! And a running shoulder tackle there. McIntyre looked pretty angry in the beginning of this match, and then Jericho just looked calm and collected there. Oh, look at this. Big reversal, big DDT. McIntyre wasting not, no time here. Big DDT from Jericho. Oh, what is going on? What's going on? Oh, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's out here. Oh, and look at this. Drew going for a pin. One. Why is Dolph out here? Did he come out here to help McIntyre? Well, that's interesting. And Jericho looking for a suplex, but then McIntyre reversed it into his own. Why did Dolph Ziggler come out here and help McIntyre? What in the world? I don't know. This, anyways, let's just go back to the match. Oh, and a rake to the eyes from Jericho. Oh, a brain buster. 
That'll definitely bust McIntyre's brain. <laughs> Jericho back to his feet, big against Seguri. Oh, and look at that, Jericho with the slap to the face. Oh, Jericho, slide underneath. Walls of Jericho, the walls of Jericho. Can McIntyre hang on? Can McIntyre hang on? He does. Irish whip. Oh, Jericho. Code breaker. Oh, my God. What a code breaker. One, two. Oh, and McIntyre. Oof. McIntyre not giving up. Look at that, Jericho jumping over the rope. And a headbutt. Oh, now McIntyre looking for the Claymore kick. And the, there it is, the Claymore is... McIntyre going to advance to join Ziggler, and he does. Drew McIntyre has done it. Drew McIntyre is going to join Dolph Ziggler for the SmackDown team. At Survivor Series, we got two more spots we gotta still find out who the captain is for both Raw and Smackdown bam there's the Claymore well guys that is the end of episode 41 hope you did enjoy so stay tuned for more Raw is next so we still got a couple weeks until Survivor Series. So we got to start getting uh, the SmackDown. I mean, we still got to get the women's action. Uh, women's superstars figured out. My goodness, I cannot talk. But anyways, we'll get that figured out. McIntyre is victorious to join SmackDown and Dolph Ziggler. We'll see you guys at Monday Night Raw.